Hey guys, Post here. Welcome back to another Digimon Rearise video. So we got the new Underworld Chambers out, so that should be fun, I guess. Would occupy some folks for a few days. Although, I wouldn't really rush it uh, if I were uh, you guys, because um, at the moment there's like a half stamina thing going on for the main story, which where you could farm a lot of plug-in fodder instead, or some other whatever stuff you want to farm there, you know, EXP levels, all that. So probably... You should spend most of your stamina over there. But anyways, uh, regardless, if, if you want to do these, that's cool as well. So anyways, let's just go through the rewards first. So uh, floor or level, I guess, 81. It's a bunch of bit. Bit is always useful, obviously. Um, DG rubies on the next one. And then after that, you got a deft uh, gold block plugin, which is nice. And then you got some DGV codes, which is not nice because obviously you can farm that for free. And then you got the uh, Sea Fairy Trial Egg. That's a really, really low chance for Mega. And then next you got three Stamina Drinks. And then I think this is Dexterity. Some, you know, workout plug-in stuff. And then this is the interesting one. So this is the one that guarantees the Smooth Digi Egg. This is the one that guarantees a Mega Digimon. I think it's like 20% High Andro, 20% um, Minerva, 20% Bulb, 20% Piedmon, and 20% please you Amon. so of these bolt probably is the one that is the least useful please Amon isn't it, please Amon, i guess is kind of niche but you know i know a lot of people want please Amon, inc including myself because please Amon hasn't been on too many banners so there's that and yeah minerva and bolt uh, or not bolt uh, minerva and hydra obviously are, are great ones to have and then you got another 50 digi rubies on what 89 and then last floor is a skill level up for marine age mod so that's cool anyways uh, let, let's try this then. The uh, first floor, 81, well not first floor, but the 81st one, um, first of the set, is skill lock, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm still going to use the team that I used last time to beat the last 10, or at least the the last few floors, right? Um, which includes War Greymon, uh, which I, I do have to change our partner first. We've got to you know take out Minerva and put in War Grey there. Just for the you know huge damage, obviously on Terra Force, and uh, let's let's go in there and see what happens. First try, no clue what these uh, floors are like, so um, yeah, it might be disastrous. <laughs> Oof, is that five? Damn, we're really fighting five. Wow, ouch, that that kind of hurt. That kind of hurt. Um, I don't know if these guys are. I think these are tech. So let's go with um. Ganku's S1 first, I guess. Um, actually, no, let's do that. I, do, I don't know why I clicked on uh, Wargreymon's S1. Let's, uh, let's throw that out, and then we'll go for Daemon's S1. Oops, I forgot to turn auto off. But, you know, we, the Terra Force, nothing wrong with that. Um, they're actually kind of hard to kill, I'd have to say, so far. Um, it seems. Let's actually let's let's draw some oof. Let's draw some attacks over that way. We don't want our uh, Kankamon to die this early. Probably should have used it a bit earlier, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Let's uh, hopefully our War Grey targets the Tyranno. That would be cool. Okay, we, well, at least we took someone out, which is fine as well, I guess for the most part. Okay. Oh, it's only one wave. Never mind. Okay. That wasn't too difficult. I thought it was... Uh, okay, I, I didn't check how many waves. I automatically assumed it was like two or three. So, well, that was pretty easy. <laughs> just one wave. Um, yeah, no status effects. There's just a skill lock, which I don't think they even used against me. So, there's that, I guess. Um, is there any info on how many waves? So, the next one is error, I think. And this one gives 50 digi rubies, which is nice. Um, it would be cool if I could get the uh, the next one, the block one, without too much issue, and then level that one up, just so we could use this during the uh, Underworld run. It would be pretty useful, right? It's a gold block. And we obviously do have Deft, we have Daemon in here. I took out uh, an old Pumpkin, and that's the only difference between this team and like, my regular um, PvP team, I guess. Okay, I've got a Provoke over there. Um, again, don't know if these are, are uh, tech or power, so... Yeah, I'm just using random um, buffs there with Genku. Although, well, it's not completely random. I, I used 
the the tech buff first tech resistance buff just because i think they're tech but i don't know <laughs> i don't know what the what rule they follow here all right it would be cool if we could take it out with a wargreymon buff and we can open up with a wargreymon s1 on on this on this pair ouch wargreymon do your thing all right wow that almost killed it oof um no no <laughs> i th I, th I thought i thought we could uh take it out with that but uh, it died before we actually used the minerva move so that's cool um ah, sh I, I i wish i was paying attention to, to the uh, the special gauge then obviously would have used were green mons attack there first then let's actually go with that um not sure if they can be stunned though or shocked i guess so yeah we're grandma gonna die no nope. we're grandma's not dying cool <laughs> can you take someone out i'm pretty sure you could take someone out uh, just don't don't take the uh the one on the right side out ah damn it because <laughs> that one's already almost dead <laughs> oh well that's unfortunate um i think we're we're pretty safe at the moment still so i won't be too worried let's do an war grandma on s2 <laughs> we're gonna even the s2 does so much damage it's pretty nuts. Again, we're going on just, just pumping out loads of damage. I mean, that's what it does. To one target, it does a lot of freaking damage. That's uh, that's why it's really useful in a lot of PvE scenarios. Not so much into PvP, but uh, in PvE. Okay, so this is the... the I, uh, I was just about to say this is the prized reward of these stages. But then again, I remember there's like a mega egg. Guaranteed mega egg. So, I don't know. I guess this is... It depends. Um, I personally would want this more than any of the Megas, although a Plesio would be nice as well, so who knows. Anyways, let's uh, let's try this one. Let's try this one out. Let's see how um, see how we do here. Um, I did not check what, what special uh, status effect these guys have, so we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> Never uh, land one on me. Okay, um, let's go with Minerva's S1 first, I guess. Um, I mean, it just hits more targets than Daemon's. And uh, let's have that special out. Three waves, okay, three waves. Okay, it looks like it's error. Um, might not be anymore because apparently these floors, uh, this set of floors apparently doesn't have too many, um, you know, special effects. Like most of them just have like one, for the most part. Let's uh let's actually have the taunt out first. Hmm, who's erred? High end. Okay, high end was whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I know, but uh, yeah, I don't really care too much if you get erred. Well, let's have that special out again. Ouch, Minerva. Ah, <laughs> that Minerva counter. Was it a counter? I don't know, but that Minerva attack. Kind of screwed us over. We were so close to having another S1 from Nerva. Oh well. Do I have pinpoint on these? Oh, you know what? I might have a pinpoint plugin on one of these guys. That's why. I keep on hitting. <laughs> Targets that are almost down. That sucks. Oof! I did not mean to do that. Ganku. Oh, oh, never mind. I took it out. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. <laughs> you could do that. You could do that. All right. Um, can we shock these guys at all? Or are they uh, immune to that? looks like they are i don't know anyways um our specials almost up well daemon got the uh, skill lock but that's that's okay i think daemon just uses skills anyways except I, I never mind i don't think he used his sub but uh his his main just went into cooldown so not that big of a deal i don't think um where grandma should take him out or not <laughs> i guess he's actually pretty tanky well i know he's tanky but like that's really tanky <laughs> to like Take two Wargreymon hits in a row and still survive, like being under 50% HP. That's pretty tanky. That's pretty tanky. Impressive. I am impressed. I am, however, not impressed by this stage overall. <laughs> um, because that was actually pretty, uh, that was, that was pretty easy clear. That was pretty easy clear. And we got, uh, the gold death plugin, which is nice. Um, although the, the plugins I have on at the moment are probably better. <laughs> Just because they're all leveled up, obviously you know a higher leveled one is just better than an unleveled one that's only what three stars at the moment I mean, my daemon should have double five stars 
So there's that. Okay, this is tech for sure. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't know. I mean, the wise bonds are tech. Let's let's just go for that one first, just because the first one does a bunch, you know, much more damage. <laughs> Even though it's single target, but hey, who's counting? Um, okay, I took that out. That's cool, I guess. I might want Daemon's taunt like right now. <laughs> um, please hit someone that's higher HP. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and, and that guy got stunned too. That's cool. That is pretty cool. Um, no, 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 no. They're they're too low for me to use a Minerva S1 on them. Uh, let's have Gravemon or War Gravemon, I guess. Uh, get his H or not HP. Um, damage buff there, and let's use War Gravemon's attack before he dies. <laughs> it's only two waves though, so I think we should be safe for the most part. And also Minerva's S1 as well before she dies. Oof. Um. Let's get let's get Ganku's S1. Hit someone with higher HP, please. Oh, never mind. There's a taunt. Okay. <laughs> it's just gonna hit whoever's taunting then. Um, let's have this out. They do have a um Ebimon, which is rare. Well, I don't know. Probably not rare. I haven't really been paying attention to what the enemies have been during all these underworld runs. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Most of them aren't too difficult so far. Um, there have been a few troublesome ones, like I think Floor 77 was troublesome for me personally, but you know, it really depends on, on your team, right? Different people have different troubles. Some people don't have any troubles, right? Um, going through the under underworld, it's just, you know, it depends on your team, what you have, your plugins and all that, and uh, how you play, I guess. So there's that. Um, one unifying trouble is the stamina cost, <laughs> which is actually pretty um, costly. But this one is going to give us the Sea Fairy trial egg. Which is cool, which I will not hatch a mega from because I've never hatched a mega from these. <laughs> so well, that's gonna happen. Okay, this is only one wave. I don't know, like one wave's like, oh my goodness! I was just about to say one wave with like multiple Digimon, like like four or five Digimons. These are actually kind of really annoying, <laughs> just because of you know, um, you, when they get like a status on you, like you can't really get rid of it. <laughs> Because usually you could get rid of those by progressing to the next stage or next wave, I guess. But in these scenarios, you can't because, well, obviously there is no there is no next wave. So there's that. And we just got obliterated here. So, well, I don't know. Uh, what can we do? Like, our War, War Greymon basically got one shot there. Dude basically got one shot. So maybe, maybe we'll need some better RNG. Maybe our team comp doesn't work. But, like, I don't know how else we could improve our team. Um, against something that could just one shot our guys <laughs> like I put up a shield like what else what else can I do? <laughs> All right Let's let's try this one again. Let's start with the shield again. Hopefully they don't uh, take us out this uh, as soon Okay, the first attack didn't hurt too much um, Let's actually use that first. Uh, I don't the thing is I don't know if these guys are tech or or Freaking power. I mean, I know Minervamon and Ebamon is tech, I guess. Well, not I guess, I know. But aside from that, I mean, w w looks like we're doing better this time around. Seems so, right? Terraforce can take someone out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's actually have the taunt first. Oh, Minervamon's gonna hurt. Can we take Minervamon out so our defenses won't be as trash i guess um wait do they have a taunt guy yeah they do oh well looks like we're not taking minerva one out then oof as they take our minerva one out that's not fun special so let's take someone out take the higher hp guy out ah okay whatever <laughs> fine so i got daemon daemon still healing doing this thing minerva please don't use your s1 damn it oof oof the poison can we survive this? We got two folks poisoned. Okay, yes, we got it. <laughs> so I guess I guess we were just unlucky the first time around. Like I literally didn't change our strategy. I guess it's just unlucky that we got. I think we got hit by Minerva's S1 the first time around, like straight off the bat, and took out our War Greymon. Not hundred percent sure. I'll have to go check the tapes on that. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Okay, looks like it's going to be one round of uh, enemies again this time. Just looking at the amount of enemies they have. 
So this shouldn't be, uh, I don't know. Again, those with like one waves are weird. Because again, if you get status, you know, can't do much about that. Oh, looks like it's going to be, oh, it's a three wave. So it's just like the same enemies over and over again, I guess. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's, let's raise our attack. Although I don't know, like Skull, Gr Skull Greymon, the other guy, they're probably power <laughs> now that I think about it. And then um, Wisemon shouldn't do too much damage. So maybe we should have buffed uh, attack res or power resistance first then. I don't know. Uh, let's have Nerve Mons S1 take the Wisemon out at least. Or not, I guess. Or not. <laughs> or not. Um, that is taunted, right? So we should hit the Skull Gray. Okay, cool. I guess. Um, actually, let's let's have that instead. Yeah. Buff our War Greymon's damage out there. Um, well, let's use War Greymon's S1 first. Okay, got provoked. Can we stun him? No, we cannot. <laughs> Although another um, War Greymon special should take him out. Or maybe Ganku's attack might take him out. Who knows? Oof, Ganku got aired there. Oh, that sucks. Ouch. Um, let's not use that special yet. Let's take out this uh, Skull Greymon first. Actually, I don't think we need... Um, the special to take this this guy out even oh uh, never mind oh no 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 we didn't need it okay cool that's cool uh, let's throw that out the uh, the war Greymon special and oh, I hit the uh, skull Greymon which is nice I guess um, we could throw that out after Daemon because again not sure if these guys could get shocked or not <laughs> actually no let's just let's play it safe let's go with a uh, war Grey's Wow, damn, we're great. <laughs> um, can okay, cool. Okay, GG, GG. This is GG. As a special takes out the wise mon. Not so wise now, eh? All right, so far, so far, so good. I think you know we only had one L there, but then again, could have been very likely. Um, unlucky, right? For the most part. So okay, eighty-seven. Last time we had some troubles with 77. Um, let's check out these enemies. Who are we actually facing this time? <coughs> Oops, sorry about that. I'm still a bit sick. Um, error again. And looks like a lot of enemies there. Could be just a one way five enemy situation. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it is. Those again are weird. Okay, looks like it's multiple waves. So let's... Oh, it's only two enemies, so we could start... Actually, no. no. Let's start, start out with um, power buffs. I would assume Skull Greymon is power over uh, tech. But it could totally be tech. <laughs> okay. Um, let's. Oof. These are actually pretty tanky, man. What the heck? <laughs> or, I guess. Never mind. Just the, uh, the Ganku's S1. S1 just doesn't do any damage at all. <laughs> that could also be an ex explanation. Alright, let's take it out with the special. Our defenses are all, are all set up, so that's a good sign, I guess. Um, let's see how much... Okay, no. Let's use Miner Minerva's S1 here first. Wow, they got four in the in the second wave. That's that's, that's tough. Um, that didn't do too much damage. You know what? The more I think about it, the more I think Minerva probably shouldn't deserve a spot. Like, she really isn't hitting that hard, honestly. So, I don't know. Haha. <laughs> What else should we, like, what else could we replace her with? Like, Melgaroomon or something? <laughs> that will be hilarious. Oh, no, 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 no. Wargrimmon, don't attack. No, no. If he attacks, the the air is going to kill him. All these probably going to die from something else before we take out their whole squad here, though, <laughs> to be honest. Um, unless this could take them out. Yes, it can. So the air is off of Wargrimmon. So should we... And Wargrimmon is... Oh, no, Wargrimmon is not dead. Still alive. He's still alive. He lives... Um, let's take out that Ebimon, please. Please, Minerva. Alright, please, War Grimmon Special. <laughs> take out Ebimon. Or not. Okay. No, War Grey's dead. Right before his, uh... His main skill is about to come off cooldown. That's an oof. Definitely. Oh, no, no, let's use Minerva's before Minerva dies. Okay. Oh, that's not, not enough to do much, I guess. So, after that, it's just gonna be Ganku and Daemon. And obviously the special of War Greymon, whenever that comes up. Um, I think 
I'm confident about her chances here, but we're in a tough situation, right? Even if we still have two alive. Uh, actually, no. I, th I think we're good. <laughs> okay, no, we're good. <laughs> oh, that War on special just does so much freaking damage. Alright, our, also our Genku is almost at 99, 99 bond. Um, I mean, I, I could just feed him up, but uh, yeah, it takes a while. Um, so this one, we got Puppetmon, Ebimon, and some other weirdos. This is the one that gives the Mega Egg. This is the this is basically the one I want to beat. <laughs> so the other ones are, eh, whatever. But this, oh, actually, the plugin's really good as well. But this one's the main one. Also, the DJ, and you know what? All these are good. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's one wave, so it should be interesting. Um, let's get our tech buff up first because of Ebimon and... Damn, wait, is Puppetmon power or tech? I am actually not sure. I never um I never checked if he was a power attack. Oh well, that that's an L on me. L on me. But uh it doesn't matter now. We got both of these up. Oof! Sleep. Damn. Well, that's not cool. Well, that's not cool. Um, who did they sleep? Okay, it's High Android and Minerva, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. Although it would be nice if we had our uh, Minerva hit him first before Minerva went to sleep, but uh, oh well, it is what it is. I think we could still manage for the most part. Uh, please get your taunt off, thank you. And hopefully we could take out that Skull Greymon. It would be nice if we take out that Puppet Mon before, his, um, uh, before the sleep attack comes back off cooldown. That would be really nice. So if we take out this Skull Greymon here, we could probably get a hit on, on um, potentially get a hit on, on Puppet Mon, right? Okay, or if these guys could come out of sleep, that would be awesome as well. Puppet, whatever. Okay, cool. Um, okay, that wasn't actually too hard. That wasn't too hard. I thought this this would be difficult because obviously this is the prized um, reward from these floors, but uh, it actually wasn't too difficult in comparison, especially in comparison to the uh, the last one, uh, floor seventy seven, right? So we're out of stamina and. I got what I wanted. I mean, these two, they're nice, but uh, not too, in too much of a hurry. I would rather just hatch out this uh, Mega Egg and see what's in there. So, uh, anyways, um, that's the movie for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys, you know, um, how you guys are doing in these set of floors. Honestly, I do feel these set of floors are much easier than the last set. Uh, but, again, that's my opinion. Um, we have, obviously, again, like I said before, different teams. They will, you know, these these floors will be different. So, anyways, uh, good luck to you guys going through the underworld. Obviously, you would <laughs> need a bit of luck with the underworld, especially with all the CC and you know specials that that they're throwing around. So, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, if you already got your mega egg, if you've, you know, uh, if you hatched it, let me know what you guys got in the mega egg. Uh, personally, I'm hoping for a Pleasimon, but would also like a Minerva or High Andrew Dupe. Those would do as well. Hopefully, I don't get Boltmon. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, most of these would do. Uh, a Piedmon dupe would be cool as well, even though I'm not running Piedmon anymore. But, you know. Anyways, again, uh, that's me for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, if you did, if you have a new channel, you could join our Discord. Uh, if you want to join our guild, right, Digi Guild, and uh, Or just to talk about Digimon Rear Eyes, I guess. So, again, I'll see you guys.